hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this er error that is unsupported graphic card so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video so if your graphic card is not supported you will receive this error but if your graphic card is supported and still you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart steam so just go to steam and then click on steam and then click on exit and once that is done launch steam once again and then check still not working just restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website so like if you're using nvidia app in that case you can go to nvidia app go to uh, graphics over here go to system Oh, sorry go to drivers over here and if there is any driver update you can check the update over here and here you can see right now there is a update for my driver so you can download it install it restart your computer and then launch the game now similarly uh, like if this is not working in that case you can perform a clean installation so to perform a clean installation follow the steps shown in this video so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now if you have amd card uh, go to amd website now once you go to amd website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here this is just an example i don't have amd graphic card so once you select your graphic card now click on submit and then if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 the latest one right now is 24.12.1 so you can uh, download this and once the download is complete you can just update it and then make sure that you restart your computer and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and over here click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed program file 686 steam folder steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add now once the game is added now scroll down and find the game in the list now once the game is added over here now you can just click on this game just click over here and then gpu preference you can select high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to restore automatic tuning in nvidia app so if you have nvidia app you can just open nvidia app now once nvidia app is open now you can go to system go to performance and over here if the restore option is highlighted so in my case uh, i already restored so if the restore option is highlighted click on restore and after the system restore you can launch the game sorry after the restore you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now this is for amd users also install amd this optional update now for this you can just in google you can just type in this version and then you can go to amd website and scroll down over here you can see uh, optional update to 25.1.1 you can click on it this will download exe file you can run this exe file update it restart your computer and then you can launch the game next step is to close all the 
overclocking application like if you are running msi after bundle or if you are running reward tuner so if you are running any kind of overclocking application so it may be any any application like msi after bundle reward tuner or any other overclocking application just make sure that you close all the overclocking application so we you can see reward tuner running you can just close it like if you have uh, msi after burner running you can just make a right click and then close it and then you can launch the game also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running you can go to discord settings and then turn off overlay if you have ge force experience go to ge force experience settings and then turn off overlay if you have nvidia app you can go to graphics i think system performance check where is uh, like in game overlay option over here Let's go to settings and over here you can see nvidia overlay so if this is on you can turn this off and then launch or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the razer peripheral software so this has worked for many players so if you have any kind of razer application running or any kind of razer peripheral software running close it and then launch the game and then check next step is to disable amd fluid motion frames in in the adrenaline app now i'm not using this app because i don't have amd graphic card so you can open this app and then you will see an option over here in graphics option over here you can see amd fluid motion frames too so if this is enabled you can just select disable and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to remove compatibility mode from steam exe so first of all close steam if the steam is open you can go to steam then click on exit and once steam is closed now type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then go to open file location and then make a right click on steam and then go to properties and go to this tab now if the option which says run this program in compatibility mode if this is checked you can uncheck this box and then make sure that you hit apply click on okay and then you can launch steam once again and then you can check now the next step is to now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode turn off frame generation now this is important this has worked for many players so it might work for you turn off dlss or fsr lower down video settings and then check so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first so once you launch the game you can go to options and over here you can go to graphics option over here and here you can see graph graphic settings in my case i've set it to lowest you can if it is set to ultra you can try high you can even select medium and then check also over here you can see upscaling now if this is set to nvidia dlss or amd fsr in that case you can just select disable over here and then confirm it and then go back now over here you can see aa so if this is on uh, you can again turn this off and then confirm and then you can go back also now you can switch to window mode so go to display option over here and over here you can see borderless with window you can select window mode and if you want to lower down resolution like if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more you can select 1920 into 1080p or you can select you can lower down more and then you can disable this nvidia reflex low latency if this is enabled you can disable it and go to graphics option once again over here you can see ray tracing in my case this is off so you can turn this off and then check here you can see texture quality if this is set to high you can uh, you can set it to medium or you can select low i, I will set it to low and then you can just confirm the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to 
try automatically manage paging file now for this you can just type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings click on the first settings over here go to advanced tab click on change over here now if this is unchecked put a check on the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all right and then click on ok and then hit apply click on ok it will prompt you an option to restart your computer restart your computer and then launch the game if that does not work again type in view advanced system settings and then again click on the first settings advance and then click on change over here and this time uncheck this box and then put a check on the box which says select this system manage size and then click on set and then click on ok and then it will be asking you to restart your computer so restart your computer hit apply restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check click on restart now and launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS this is important so go to your system manufacturer website if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then find the latest BIOS, and then install it, and then install the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure charger, the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer, and then you can launch the game, and then check. Still not working. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now find the game exe file. So here you can see the game exe file, make a right click, select properties, and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again go to properties, this time put a check over here, and then select Windows 8, hit apply, 
click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. Go to properties and this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. So when you put a check on all these boxes, so still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you are using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, go to Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file and click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, and then click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game exe file, select the game exe file. So, select this exe file, click on open, and then click on add in my case uh, the game is already added so once the game is added uh, to the firewall now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update and click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Make sure that you update your Windows to Windows 11 to version 24H2, and then you can launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download this x86 and x64 version. So the, download x86, and then you can run this exe file. Click on it. And then if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install button, click on install. Now download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install button, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Now once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to Unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of razor uh, devices or any kind of USB adapter which you're not using, disconnect all the external devices. Like if you have extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Now, if you have any third party application or services running, you can close it and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game too different drive so if nothing is working you can just make a right click on the game select manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check now if the game is already installed to c drive in, in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.